All right, so I'm going to be showing how to remove a stuck button from a... I guess this should work with a lot of different model phones, um, but specifically this is a Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus, I believe. Yeah, S8 Plus. Um, but I believe this will work for the S7, S7 Plus, S7 Edge, S8, all the way up to the current releases. Um, if you want to make sure, you can probably check online and see what the button looks like. Um, so basic, basically search for your model of phone and then go on like eBay or something and check what uh, what the power button, volume button, whatever it looks like. Okay, so what I'm going to use, I'm going to use these little needle nose pliers. Technically, um, any pliers that can kind of just grab onto this very thin lip of the button should work. So this one, I already cleaned it out, but it had some gunk. I don't know how it got underneath, but um, the customer brought it in. It had some stuff stuck uh, underneath the button. I'll pull it out and I'll show you what I mean. All right, I'm not going to pull all the buttons out. This can uh, scratch up the edges of the button, so keep that in mind. Um, if you're going to do this, that it can cause a little damage to the buttons. This one, in this case, it actually held up really well. But basically what you do is you grab this. If you can't get a good grip, sometimes it helps to kind of like push down one side and then this other side will pop up slightly more. So you kind of want to check. Then you can grab this. And then while you're grabbing that, you can just pull this up and out like that. All right, so the way this works, so all these phones that are water resistant, what they do is they have a rubber membrane here. So this rubber is what's actually holding the buttons in place um, or what actually pushes the buttons. And then they have a little bit of rubber sticking up. So on two sides, they have the rubber here sticking up to hold the button into place. So this is what the inside of the button looks like, if you can see, all right, there's these two little grooves in here. And that's where the rubber kind of just sits in there and then it helps, it holds it in place. Um, but because, I don't know how, but one of these got filled with gunk. So I'm not sure how that works because the rubber thing should be in there and I don't know how, but stuff got stuck in there. And then what I had to do was I had to take a needle. Okay, so basically like this. And then I just scraped all the gunk out from the little groove there. And now that I got all that gunk out, it's working. It was before going into safe mode all the time because the power button, uh, or sorry, the volume down button was being held um, because there was so much gunk in there holding it into place. But uh, now you can just push this back in and it should hopefully stay by itself. Maybe it's too clean. I don't know if I'm going to have to put some glue on there. They do have a case that holds it into place, but as you can see, if I push this, it's it's actually popping out on its own now. So it could be, I think there used to be some adhesive or something helping hold it in place, or maybe there's still some gunk in here that I couldn't quite get out all the way, and the rubber piece might not be holding it well. But um, actually, I flipped it upside down. Okay, and that's holding a lot better. Okay, so I might have had it upside down before. Oh, nope, it still pops out. So if they really want to have it hold in place, um, what you can do, again, you can put a tiny bit of like glue or something inside of the, of the little grooves here. So I'll probably see about doing that. Put a very tiny bit. You can use like a needle and then just kind of rub it in there because you don't want to put too much. Otherwise it's not going to stick or it's going to overflow and then your button won't work anymore. Um, maybe to be safe, I'll just put the button on and they have a phone case that holds the button in place. So that might work as well. Again, this works with most of those water resistant phones with the buttons on the side. But again, you do want to check what the replacement buttons look like. So it should look like this. All right. So you want to check for the outer piece of the button, not for the internal physical button that's inside because you can replace those as well. But on these phones, they're a lot more difficult. So I don't do any of that kind of repair. Um, but yeah, as far as fixing this button, um, I was able to get it out with those needle nose pliers and it looks like it's okay. So it's no longer going into safe mode after restarting the phone and that was what our main goal was. So now this thing, it does work, but again, if you kind of push it, it does pop back out. So yeah, if you want it to stick in there, you want to just be very, very careful, put a tiny bit of glue into the grooves. Um, and it, you don't want enough that it can kind of squish out. So you want to be very careful with that. Um, maybe I should put a tiny bit just to kind of show you guys. Let me see if I can get a close up and show that. Okay. So I'm going to zoom in here. I'm going to get this piece here 
And then, okay, I'm going to need some super glue here, so let's see if I can get it to come out. I only need a very tiny amount. If you want, you can even, like, just open the bottle of glue, and then, again, you just dip, like, a needle into there. Okay, again, we're just putting a very tiny amount, so I need to make sure. I think this glue gelled up too much, so now it's difficult. Okay, so I just got a little bit of glue on this. I'm going to hold that, and we're just going to kind of get it a little in there. And, oops, I'm not, oh, let me do this outside so I don't get it on the phone itself. And a little in there. And you want to make sure that it's not going into um, the edges, the sides of the phone. You just want it to go into the groove there. Okay, so make sure in the groove in the groove all right then we're gonna get this button stick it back in okay and then we're gonna hold both buttons Oop, make sure it's going in oh no I put it in I dropped it okay make sure it goes in right and then you wanna press and hold both buttons for about 30 seconds so that the glue can set all right I'm just going to hold this here for about 30 seconds and that should prevent it from popping back out and we should be good to go. All right. So hopefully this video helped you guys. If it did, make sure to like, subscribe, share my channel with others so that they can learn how to upgrade, repair their devices, helped you save a bunch of money. Please consider contributing a little bit to the channel. Every little bit helps and allows me to continue making these videos for a living. Excuse me. All right, but other than that, okay, it's been about 30 seconds. Let's test it. Probably didn't put enough glue. So this side actually um, is holding in, all right? But the other one, if I push this, I can actually get it to pop back out. So I'm going to try a little bit more. Sorry, okay, that didn't really work right. I think I need a new bottle of um, the super glue. The gel turned too thick here, so it's not actually holding as much as it should. Okay, well, let's try one more time. Again, you only need a little. Sorry, my hand placement's all. Okay, so you only need a tiny bit in there. Okay, hopefully that's in. And a tiny bit in there. Okay. And the reason why we're putting it in the little groove is so we don't accidentally get it along the side edges because you don't want to end up accidentally gluing the button into there and then you'll never get it back out so let's get that back in again I'm gonna hold this for about 30 seconds all right and hopefully that will work this time okay again if you do put a um, screen protector not a screen protector a case on it should usually hold the buttons in place as long as Yours has those um, with the buttons that are covered. Some cases don't even cover the button, so I want to check. All right. Sorry, I was trying to clean off the needle before it got bad. Okay, so now I can see I'm pushing this. Sorry, I'm going out of view. It's staying in. It's not coming out. All right. I'm even like purposely trying to make it go out. And it only comes out a tiny bit. So that should be it. All right. Hopefully it helped. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you all in the next one. All right. Let's drop this. Bye. All right. So apparently the other button was stuck as well. The customer just told me I didn't realize I wasn't checking that one. So let's go ahead and see if we can remove this the same way. So I'm just going to grab this if I can. This one is kind of stuck shoved in more. But uh, yes, we were able to lift that out. And let's see what we can do. So we got partially. Okay, and I don't know, again, there's a bunch of like gunk here. We're gonna try and scrape that all up. Okay, I don't know how it got all this. And then the side edges of the buttons are also covered with stuff, so I'm just scraping that out as well. Okay, and then if you want, you can use like a toothbrush or whatever to get into these little grooves and try and get that out as well sorry you can also use um, you can also use the needle but the needle might be a little more dangerous because you don't want to puncture the rubber and then 
risk damaging that. All right, so now that we've got that cleaned out, we're gonna use this air blower and just blow that junk out. And then let's go ahead and see about putting this button back in. I think he told me the on off buttons also having, having issues. Okay, so this is a lot better now, it's clicking and the on off button's fine. So we're gonna leave that as is. All right, so that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.